Uh, hey guys, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but um, I'm selling my collection. Um, unfortunately, I'd really love to keep these pieces, but unfortunately, gotta let them go. Um, anyway, gonna go pretty fast here. Uh, message me directly uh, if you have any conversation or if you have any questions, and uh, respond to the email, preferably in the description. Uh, anyway, here we have a Grove RT540E. Um, I can't remember if this is an NZG model or tell me right at the bottom. Oh, guess not. Anyway, uh, I forget the name, but um, I do believe that's all in good, perfect condition. The string could be rewound. Um, that's all there. The boom extends all the way. I have pictures of it in my old videos. Um, dual cab, really great model. I think I've done a review on it. Uh, custom attachments. Um, this bucket I made myself. Um, this is it off a uh, John Deere 210 excavator. This is off. This will fit a John Deere 210. This is off a Case 140, I think. Um, all 150 scale, by the way. Um, a three shank ripper made by a gentleman down in Texas. I forget his name. Um, a shear. Um, very nice. Rotates up very nice very well made sure all the decals on it perfect condition um, besides all that boogering up there that I did um, concrete bucket that's just, yeah a trenching bucket made by the same man who made that and that a trenching bucket for a 365 excavator this also fits a 365 excavator um, that'll fit a on the shear on the excuse me, replace the boom on the 320 excavator, uh, which has a thumb attachment on it, um, cab guard on there, um, uh, Peterbilt 359, I think, with the, uh, it's first gear model, with the tag, the, you know, with low boy, removable gooseneck, wide load sign, really good looking model, it could be putting some on there, if you look at the Cummins diesel. Um, 650J John Deere Ertle model, another bucket I forgot to include of the 365, it will fit. Um, 14M motor grader, never modified, uh, really nice model, North Scott model. Bell RT540E, uh, Ertle model, uh, first gear Mac, dump bed, I converted it into a flatbed. Um, tag trailer I made, first gear, um, I think. Oshkosh snowplow um, with the snowplow and it's got everything the mirrors are still perfectly fine on it it opens up yeah everything's awesome on that 850 KLGP John Deere hurdle excavator um, 365 front shovel bucket with the rollout really nice uh, force machine 963 with the rops and the mower and the bucket is all included in that um, 850K, I think, no, I forget. Anyway, Ertl model, Rops, kind of modified it, um, whatever you'd like to get for it, just let me know. First gear, 350, 359 dump truck, um, 420E backo, or 420D, sorry, backo, with, with all the, sorry, with all the attachments. Um, I have all the attachments on it. It's got the rollout bucket. It's got a nice form one. The extend hoe, I think. Yeah. Pretty nice looking model. Awesome. Um, PC 1100. Awesome model, awesome function, awesome design, awesome everything. Um, in the original box. Never broke anything on it. Uh, 336 DL. Awesome model. The custom bucket made by uh, the same man who made the uh, 365 bucket. Really, really good looking bucket. I'm um, also have the old original one. I just made this thing. I don't know what I was thinking. Flat. Just, it fits in there just fine. It's a uh, flat blade bucket. Um, collection of miscellaneous uh, pieces. Uh, we got the International Harvester 175 here. Awesome model. Um, I think that's an undercarriage to a 320. Just kidding. John Deere 240. 
been a while since I've used it. Anyway, I think it's to that original one. Uh, spare tire for a 980G cat cab for a 210 John Deere. Just a random bucket. Mud mats. Um, old Bobcat excavator, 150 scale. Awesome excavator. A lot of detail, even though it is a smaller model. A uh, Wartal harvester head. Everything's included there, nothing broken. Um, 671 inline Detroit diesel, 150 scale, uh, engine block, radiator, everything. Uh, a whole bunch of little people, um, figurines. We have the speed limit sign, a whole bunch of these little signs. Another engine block, um, barrels, construction zone barrels, a bin box. A, oh, there's the original bucket for that excavator up there. I'll go with it. Um, pallets. 150 scale pickups, another Bell B40D, 613 G, um, forest excavator, weathered of course. It's got the undercarriage of a uh, log harvester, it's whatever the boom that came off of. When the engine opens up, I'm pretty sure. Really nice model, functions really well. Awesome. Um, these are just like I'll throw these in whatever package you want. Uh, they simulate like a power line or something. They light up. They're pretty cool. Um, triple seven D haul truck or Scott with the it's the edition, the silver edition, whatever that was. Komatsu. It's the mine roller. This thing's kind of cool. I bought it a few years back. Not a whole lot of them were made. That thing rolls at the bottom. It's made by the TCMIK company. Um, original box. Um, really cool. This is a this is an NZG Cat 966 front end loader. Um, it's in perfect, absolutely immaculate condition. You've got the original tag and box with it. Um, they don't make these anymore. They have them for years. I'm pretty sure. Uh, they're they're just a beautiful, beautiful, high quality German model. Um, the only problem with it is the front end linkage was at one time broken. I'm pretty sure I fixed it since then, but it could be weak. I don't know. Maybe you're just gonna let it sit on your shelf. It rolls perfectly fine. It opens up perfectly fine. Comes with the uh, original tag with it, the box. And See there. Um, here's the manual for the Grove model. It was over there with it. Um, uh, ballast, Woodland Scenics ballast, uh, Laterno, carry all scraper, cable operate, pull behind your favorite old timey dozer, tractor, whatever. Uh, D11R with metal tracks. This came with rubber tracks. I put uh, metal tracks on it and weathered the blade slightly. It's all new hydraulics in the original box. Uh, 980G wheel loader. Really high, high quality wheel loader. Nothing broken on it. Um, what's wrong with it? Um, Woodland Scenics. Uh, I don't know if it's duff or something. It's, um, you know, like the underbrush. Um, that wraps it up. Uh, diorama. Want that? Just let me know. We can work something out. Got a whole bunch of excuse me. Got a whole bunch of trees on it. Same thing with this one over here. Here's the rest of the attachments for the 420. Got the forklifts, um, boring machine, from the picker. Um, all that. I mean, I'm not gonna really break the bank. You know, charge you guys a whole bunch for it because I really have no need for this. Um, yeah, all, everything you see here. Really hate to give it away, but you know, a guy's gotta do what he's gotta do. <laughs> Alright, let me know.